Before we get into the skilling boss, I want to show you guys what perks I actually am going to put on my wand and the lantern that I got in the end of my last video. I'm going to use precise 6 on my wand, it's really the best thing I have. And on my offhand, I have aftershock 4 and ruthless 1. But let's get into the new skilling boss. There's no way of knowing what the perfect setup is going to be before the boss is actually released and I've tried it a bit but this is the setup I'm going to just try the first kills with. As it's a skilling boss I don't really expect to take a lot of damage as they said there's no combat requirement either. So I'm just bringing my full fishing outfit, my mining outfit, my woodcutting outfit and the only outfit I don't have that the skills are needed for the boss is hunter. I only have 50 hunters marks so I can't actually buy the outfit unfortunately but we will have to live with that and the uh, skill capes i thought the fishing one which uh, provides a chance to gain an additional catch is pretty useful as well as the uh, mining one which it says on core ore or uh, core rocks i'm not sure if that's going to work with this but if it does then it is a five percent chance of doubling as well so that could be pretty useful and then I think I have my augmented hatchet as well with some decent perks on it and enhanced Excalibur for some healing. But uh, we will see how this goes, I guess. Oh, and I forgot. Uh, restores also because it says that the boss actually drains your stats during the fight. So I thought restores would be pretty useful as well. Sorry, but I just have to show this. Look at this. What is this merchant? Death Touch Dart and 40 Reaper Points. This is the most stacked merchant I've ever seen. We are officially in and Hearts of Ice have been converted into 453 Ottomans. Okay, well, didn't even know I had that, but let's go into the new front. It is right here and if you didn't know, there is going to be four skilling nodes outside of the boss as well. And let's actually see what the uh, battlefield ability is as well. Dragonfire Rain, what is this? Calling support from Gorvek to rain down Dragonfire where you stand interesting enough i guess but uh, there is actually four skilling nodes that you can train on that is supposed to be competitive experience which is very interesting there's going to be of course fishing this one it's going to be woodcutting hunter and the last one is mining so let's see if i actually you can't carry any more fish well that makes sense i have a full inventory i'll try this after the boss but uh, as i said there is uh, four different ones and it's the same skills that you train during the boss. Okay, so there is public encounters, so you don't actually have to get your own group for this, which is very nice. And I think, I would assume that all of these people are Iron Man, maybe I'm completely wrong on that. But uh, look at the boss, so a fight is going on right now. And by the way, I don't know why it's saying preloading inventory icons forever on me on the top there. But uh, yeah, you can see here these people are just fighting and I have to wait to transport because, well, a fight is already happening. So I just have to wait now until probably the boss is dead and then after that I can enter. I think honestly in public groups this is almost impossible. Like, I'm not even kidding. Every single time I went in and we've done three tries now, it takes one minute and eight seconds almost every single time and you just fail. I'm not sure, it's so confusing because I think you have to take the different skilling supplies on the different areas to the statues, but you need a lot of them to be able to even do it because you need 15 fungal spores and 15 fungal algae to even contribute just as one person to the statue and you have, there's literally 0% chance that you do that by your own in one minute. So you kind of have to work together from what it seems like to be able to do this. And obviously in a random group that seems very unlikely it's going to happen. By the way, you don't need food at all on this boss, so don't bring any food. Uh, only bring restores because uh, you only get drained in stats. You don't lose HP, so if uh, I just give it a second here, I will be able to show you guys. By the way, the, the experience is pretty good. 153 per, um, per drop here is pretty good. So you see these drop on the ground here. So you see 15 woodcutting, and you can see my woodcutting level drain a lot. So you just have to avoid these, but like now... Look at these that I got. I got these seven or how many there is. Yeah, seven. And if I would try to contribute them and half of the time basically is already used. So when this meter here goes to 100%, you fail the boss fight. I just, I don't have enough supplies and there's almost no way that I will have the time to, to be able to do it. So Iron PVM actually said that there is an Iron Man mass that you can do and maybe this one is going to be a bit better if people are a bit more coordinated. So it seems like public lobbies are very, very difficult to actually manage. Maybe people just have to learn the boss first and that's how it goes. But yeah, that was very rough, like five fails in a row at the exact same time every time. 
We've done like 10 tries now, still no kill, but uh, at least the experience is pretty nice. 971 experience per time. Oh, I'm, to eat. I'm gonna stop. Alright, 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 alright. Right. Three. Yes. Two. Oh, mining, yeah. Well, <laughs> let's eat this boss alive, okay? Let's fuck him oh. up. No, okay, hold on. <laughs> Don't swear. There we go. Family oh, thing. Spirit, pay attention to go. three other people and pay attention to the middle of the blob spawns. Thank you. Oh shit, I, I should not have done that. Woo. Wait, well, I just got killed. Are you fucking kidding me? I messed up. I was gonna use a power burst of acceleration to get over the field, but it didn't work. <laughs> Alright, I'll be back in a second. Someone said he'd rather eat rusty nails than do this boss again. <laughs> 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 that could be enraged. Uh, uh, come on. I'm gonna. You guys are giving me a break. Can we just spray the statues? We're actually close to repairing all statues. Oh, oh look oh, at this! Oh, oh, Do it! Oh, oh. Middle, Dad, middle, oh. middle! Oh, kick it, oh. Kick it, oh. Kick it, oh. Oh. Eat him! Eat him! Eat him! Eat him. Uh, get him, guys! Get go, go, him. go, 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 go! Go, 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 go! He's, gonna, he's, he's losing no death. HP! What the hell? The... No, he is. <laughs> get him! What? Get him! He definitely is. Yeah, well, you probably like, need to do it again if the bar ends. We need probably. to do it multiple times. You have to do it like 10 times. Oh, I'm out of I'm out of supers. Oh my god. So yesterday when this was released, I was just doing it on my main with Protox, as you guys saw. And uh, today I woke up and I'm doing a public instance and we're actually getting a kill. Like, it seems like we're actually going to kill it, which is just unreal to me. Because I did like 10 public instances yesterday and I guess people have got their guides out. But uh, yeah, now people actually know what to do and it's not that bad. Let's see what the first loot on my Iron Man ever is going to be. Hopefully something decent. And we get... Did I just get one Triskelion key fragment and that was all? <laughs> what? I have to go and look this up. What? I have to run all the way to the loot here. Unfortunately, it takes a while. But did I actually just only get one Triskelion key? That would be so disappointing. I guess it doesn't maybe show the average, like the scales and the, those things. Oh my god, okay, so uh, the flake's pretty decent, some fungus, this is very good actually, I usually go to Morton and actually pick them up, but uh, also an Elder Tro Trove tier 3, I'm going to bank everything, I want to see how this, uh, what items these give. Oh, like the same things that I get from the other ones. Are you kidding me? I got another Triskelion key again? What? Everyone actually got a manuscript this time? My, okay, my contribution was pretty bad. 168 I think is pretty uh, pretty bad, but uh, let's see. I guess the flakes, by the way, I really need a lot of because you need like thousands of them to make the gear. And I ha of course have to get the actual gear piece dropped first, but then you need a bunch of these to actually make them uh, useful. Oh, nice. Rock tails and magic. All these are pretty good Iron Man supplies. Unfortunately, new people can come into the public instance whenever, and it is getting way harder now. We got 98% on the top of the boss, so that was very close. Uh, let's see if I got anything interesting here. Doesn't seem like I got anything rare. Someone got an effigy, but I don't think it's that rare either on this boss. It's probably like the Arc Glazer, because this one is level 600 and the Arc Glazer is 700, and it is dependent on level, but uh, let's see what I got this time. We got some average stuff, I guess. Oh, I actually got my first manuscript of Bic. I, of course, don't have the book, which is a skilling book. I heard the first day it sold for max cash. A lot of people had a problem killing this boss first day, just like me. So it makes sense that it will sell for an incredible amount of money. But uh, yeah, that's the first uh, page. I just did a four man and look at the loot, 1.3 million, 126 flakes, I don't even know where all the money is coming from, and the quorms are actually really nice, getting those on an Iron Man is kind of, uh, kind of a struggle, and also the food is super nice. Got a KC of 18 now, and I think we did 7 kills in that four man, and I wanna see actually how many flakes I have now, so if we go here, I have 1042 flakes, they almost look, is it the same model? Maybe it is, but uh, I'm going to go to the flakes now and see how many you need for different things. So for example, the helmet, you will need 1000 flakes. I already have enough for that, but I do need that Crypt Bloom helmet to be able to make it. The chest is 1.6k, so I guess it's not a massive amount of flakes because I got this in 18kc, but of course like half of that was in a 4-man where you get a lot more loot, but yeah. This is also a pretty decent item. 6% increased woodcutting success rate. That is very good for uh, overall uh, woodcutting training. 20% chance to cut an extra log wound woodcutting. You have a chance to receive splintering arrow tips. Oh, that is the new arrows that you can get as well. And the seed bag. 
Oh my god, 500 of each, that is really, uh, that's a lot. I was just on a detour to a traveling merchant, and I see this person with the new scripture, and it actually has one prayer bonus higher than the uh, scripture of Jazz, and the effect is, when using non-combat skills, you will occasionally reveal a catalyst of alteration, which can be interacted with for rewards. Upon gaining the reward, receive a 5% XP boost for a minute. You can actually kind of abuse that a bit, I feel like, if you do, like, uh, if you want to check an animal in your farm that gives, like, 100,000 experience and an elder or something, and then you just do fletching before you actually uh, check the animal, so when you get this proc, then you have the 5% XP boost for when you check the elder animal, which is pretty nice. Going to be doing some four manning, which is a lot of loot, but slower kills. So let's see what the second round is. 9.4 million, 104 rock tails. Actually, doing this boss is going to give me so much food that I, I don't have to go fish for a long time, even for my higher tier PVMing when I actually need the food. So four manning, like seven 30 minute kills, and uh, I would say that it's going very good. Haven't got a rare yet, but actually one of the people in my group did get a rare. He got the helmet, but it didn't actually show in the chat because I think it's worth like too little. It's like 1.5 million or something. Because we didn't see it at all, but it was this uh, WVB Brian, so I couldn't actually show you guys when he got it, but uh, I do want to get a drop in this video. I don't know how many KZ I'm at right now, but it's not crazy, but 58, and it takes a while to get a kill here, so it could be a while before I do manage to get something. Also, by the way, if you guys didn't know, if you're an Iron Man, you can actually make sessions with non-Iron Men. The first day you could not do that, but they recently fixed it. This guy, for example, is not an Iron Man, and we can actually do the kills with him. So that is a very nice quality of life thing. Easier to find groups, you can just go to a group, find the world, and uh, search right there, even if you're an Iron Man. Shout out to these people, by the way. These are the people I am doing this with. So yeah, you can see this guy got gloves, and it does not show for anyone, so I assume it's just not really broadcasting it, but I do have my Luck of the Dwarves on, so it is going to 100% show if I get one of the rare drops in the chat. Oh my god. I got so baited, I thought I got something, and it was, uh, it was an effigy. Oh my god, no way, look at the chat, someone got a pet, Iron Mado got the pet, Jesus, on 23 kill counts. I'm doing a mass now with uh, the YouTuber Dark World Order, he was streaming, I thought, uh, why not just join, but uh, wow. That's the first time I've seen a pet drop here. What? Another one! Oh, four kills! Look at that! That's, oh my god, that's so close to the last one as well. That's almost like back-to-back -back pets, Jesus. I'm back to doing public lobbies, and I just bring like 8 restores and 8 logs or something like that, and I only leave uh, 8 spaces for other things, and I get like 200 points every single time, and my current KC now on Krosos is over 100, and what I've done to make it a bit more interesting to check the loot every time is I just do a bunch of kills, then I have my friend's chat on here on the chat, so I don't see if I get any rares. So let's open it and see if I did manage to get any in these kills. And I did not, but the loot is very nice. 9 million and that's got a lot of magic logs and overall good stuff. But I will keep doing this. So I have a lot of kills stacked up here in the chest in a public lobby. And I wanted to do this as many times as possible. But this guy right here, Blade Gadi or whatever he's called... He is a bot. He actually ruined like most of the games, so I'm not going to get that good loot here probably because most of the time I got half points. How that happens is that he basically uh, just went and prayed on the altars as soon as you could do that. He did that 10 times in a row, everyone was telling him not to do it, and he was just running around not saying anything, doing it all the time. And it was very obvious he was a bot because he started the boss after like a certain time every time we were waiting, and then he ran in the same pattern all the time. But let's see what we can get anyways. And we Oh, we got a unique! The spore sack! Okay, this is massive. I have done 35 kills in a public session. I'm at 162. After this, 163. I have not seen any loot yet. I'm going to go to the chest and see what I get. 
the moment of truth. Let's see what we get. By the way, I can basically stay here forever if you have the runes for crystal mask. Basically don't use any supplies and I go to the woodcutting place and I just use those things if I do get stuck instead of having logs. They do work as logs as well. So let's see what the reward of this is actually going to be. Regardless, it's going to be very stacked. It is no uniques. That is pretty, well, it's, I guess it's kind of uh, expected, it's not a massive amount of kills, 35, an effigy though, some pages, and 107 rock tails, kind of expecting more than that, but the reward is like 23 million, but uh, with the unique on the last clip, I am now feeling kind of done with this boss. Now to actually be able to get the seed bag from the uh, Krosus spore sack, I have to get all of these items. And that is quite a lot, and 2.5k flakes. Now, for flakes, I have a lot of them. I should have, like, 7,000, so that is not a big deal. But the other materials, I don't have that many of. I have a 343 of the hunter ones, but the mining ones and the woodcutting ones, all those are very, very low. But uh, I will do an attempt of grinding that out and actually see how good this is. Well, this is going to take some time. Uh, doing the hunter one and fishing goes pretty fast, but the mining and woodcutting is quite something. Just look at how slow this is. I have to get 500. The bar has to go all the way to this and 500 times. At least I got myself a lot of porters, so that will be uh, helping on the AFK grind, but uh, Jesus, this will take a very long time. I would say getting all of these materials took roughly like 11 hours, so it was a very long grind, but I got some decent experience from it, I guess. And let's actually make the seed bag now, which is going to be uh, freeing up like 40 slots in my bank, 10,000 crafting as well. So if we actually open up this, you can see all the slots that you can have for seeds, and I will fill this up with seeds, and mostly this tab right here will be a lot cleaner. So basically I can just have potions and herbs in this tab and not all these seeds. I would say that's a lot cleaner and also I don't know why but you can't put these papaya tree seeds in this bag for some reason. They are like the only ones that actually don't work uh, because like for example even the Moschella mushroom spores they work even though they're not called technically seed but uh, these are called seed and you actually just can't put them in here. Now, even though I didn't get any good rares really from Croesus, I got so much rock tails. Pretty much most of this was from Croesus. I think only like 250 already had. And also I have some sailfish that I fished before the boss came out because I didn't know if you would have to have some of them. But you don't actually use food on the boss. So I actually have a lot of food for future PVMing now. But uh, for now, I end the video here. I will be doing more Croesus in the future because I really want that tier 90 magic gear. But I'm probably not going to show most of it because the boss is actually not that interesting it is kind of afk in big lobbies when you do public lobbies it is very easy to just kind of scrape by do the minimum amount and then you get a decent reward anyways so that's probably what i'm going to do if i'm going to do hundreds of kills to get the magic gear which I probably will need it for Telos pushing as I'm not very good at it. But uh, this will be the end of this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. I always forget to say that so might as well do it now. And like the video if you liked it. Have a good one. Take care.